Hi everyone, it's Amber from Amber's Awfully Awesome Art. Thank you for joining me today. And today I just wanted to do a quick video of uh, these hearts that I'm making for a Valentine's Day art show that I will be doing this Sunday at the Art Park um, in Dallas near the Bishop Arts District. So definitely come check it out. Um, and the weather uh, is expected to be nicer. We have been iced in for the past week. But here I am doing my first heart and I am using the Glidden Essentials uh, turquoise pillow um, in the satin finish and it's the ultra deep base uh, I got the sample um, because I wanted to try a colored pillow and there I was popping some bubbles by slamming um, my uh, spinner which is a Jessica Winterstrom spinner I have a uh, the link along with her channel in the description box and I popped more bubbles um, with my mandala stenciling tool and I will be doing a swipe on this heart so my first color is Amsterdam yellowish green that'll be my base and I'm gonna go kind of across the heart here um, this will be followed by this little piggy Bellini which is a nice um, golden uh, orangey color uh, it is so pretty um, they actually sent me a sample fluid art co sent me a sample so i'm just now uh, using it and uh, so that will be my second layer um, and this will be followed by golden acrylic cerulean deep blue i hope i said that right but i saw this color i fell in love with it um it kind of reminds me of amsterdam greenish blue but it's um a lot more blue uh but it's really really pretty and this is a uh, tlp sorbet um again a nice light lemony uh pigment um and this will be followed by pebeo iridescent uh uh, red blue uh, this is a nice um, shimmery iridescent color it is transparent so it'll go great underneath the cell activator and I will be using a black cell activator I have the recipe down below I'm using Amsterdam lamp black mixed with three parts of Australian Floetrol, and I am using this swipe tool that I got from Tracy Reed uh, Designs uh, Art Shop uh, on Etsy. I will link her shop down below. She has a YouTube channel as well, so go check her out. And also check out her um, Etsy store because she has a lot of cool paint pouring uh, supplies on the store. Um, and I love these uh, swipe tools that she has. Um, so yeah, definitely go check her out. And here I am just um, swiping, uh, taking my time. Uh, the cells will pop up later on, so just give them some time. Um, and I am going diagonally and I did make a design with my mandala stenciling tool in the center um, just to add some added interest but I really did like this pillow uh, paint um, it was actually a sample um, that I got and I just wanted to try it out uh, and like I mentioned before I use PPG multi pro in eggshell white and pastel base but a satin base um, pillow also works great that's why you'll see a lot of uh shelly art members using um sherwin williams tricorn black or any of the sherwin williams color to go um paint because the satin works well as uh as well um they are a little bit thinner so you may want to decant it in a separate um jug or some people uh including myself have used regular gel gloss just a dollop of gel gloss to thicken the satin pillow um so that works as well or you can leave the lid slightly open and um let it air out and that'll thicken it as well and here i am just um stretching out my cell activator because i noticed there was a bunch in some areas and i got some really cool peacock cells I get really happy when I see the peacock cells, um, so I was uh, really happy in seeing those. But yeah, I'm just spreading these out, and the next clip will be our close-up.
Well guys, here's a close-up. I did spin this out and we are going to the next heart. Okay y'all, here is heart number two. I have taped all of them in the back with frog tape or you can tape it with any painter's tape. And I did do a, a layer, a spray of the kills or cleanse spray. I hope I'm saying that right. I will link that down below in the description box as well. Um, and here is my black pillow paint. This is Sherwin-Williams color to go in tricorn black. It is the satin finish and I am spreading it around and covering my edges. Um, I got the quart size. It's about $9, but they almost always have a 30% off sale, so it's a good deal. And I don't really use um, a lot of colored pillow paint, but um, I decided to use it on this one. And here's my first layer, Golden Acrylic Pyrrole Orange. This is a very nice, uh, rich orange color. A little bit deeper than the Vat Orange that they have. Um, and this will be followed by TLP Bellini again. And there is my consistency. And it's leaving about a two to three second trace. And the pouring medium I use to mix my paints and pigments um, is Valspar High Gloss Untinted Deep Base C. Uh, available at Lowe's. Um, and then one part Varathene triple thick water-based clear gloss varnish. That was golden ultramarine violet and that is followed by TLP Sorbet. Um, I wasn't too crazy about this color palette uh, and I was just experimenting and playing around. And here you have golden uh, cerulean deep blue again. Um, and this will be followed by TLP Watermelon. This is another one of my favorite pigments that they have. Um, and this will be followed by, again, Pebeo Iridescent um, Red Blue. And I will be using a um, black and gold cell activator. Um, and I will have the recipes and the ratios listed down below as well. So when I'm doing um, a regular blowout bloom like this one, my cell activator is a three parts Australian Floetrol to one part paint ratio. But when I am swiping, I keep my ratios thick. So my cell activator ratio is two to one. So I use two parts Australian Floetrol to one part paint. And always remember, opaque paints work best as your cell activator. And I always layer a tube paint and then a pigment and then a tube paint and finish off with a tube paint underneath my cell activator. Here I am uh, kind of spreading uh, the cell activators out. I noticed um, there was a bunch of gold um, in the black on the corners. So I'm getting a bunch of peacock cells here. Uh, like I said, I wasn't too crazy about this um, color palette, but it kind of grew on me. And I will spin this out as well so that um, I don't have too much paint. Again, as I've mentioned before in my videos, um, if you have too much pillow paint um, and you don't stretch it out or spin it off, you will tend to have some cracking and crazing. And... Um, uh, also, your cells may be a little wonky as well. They won't hold their shape. So just make sure you spin uh, most of your pillow paint off and you can pick it up and test it to see if it's moving. Um, so yeah, that is a very important step right here. And um, the next clip will be um, the close-up. Here is a close-up of bloom number two and on to heart number three. And guys, we are on to heart number three. For this one, I decided to use my regular uh, PPG multi-pro white and uh, uh, eggshell white and pastel base. And here I am covering the edges. Um, the PPG is a Home Depot brand, so it's available at Home Depot. Um, and it's priced very reasonably as well and i've never had any issues with it as far as bubbles or consistency is concerned but yeah here i am uh, 
uh, just covering my edges and I kept the palette very simple for this one here is a uh, golden quinacridone nickel azel gold as my first layer and this will be followed by uh, TLP harvest gold this is such a pretty gold color that they have I don't use it often um, and I really wanted to use it in this one um, and this will be followed by golden alizarin uh, crimson hue i really hope i'm saying all of these golden acrylic uh paints correctly but yes this is um a deep maroonish reddish color very pretty i've never used it before and i thought it would go great with amsterdam greenish blue again one of my absolute favorite colors and I decided to use um, a white and copper cell activator for this one. So my white cell activator is a combination of Atelier Titanium White and Amsterdam Titanium White. And this is followed by Amsterdam Copper. Um, and my ratio, again, for this one is three parts Australian Floetrol to one part um, paint. And here I am just spreading it out because um, I felt like my dryer, I took the connector off so uh, it just didn't really blow well. Um, I was just experimenting on that. Um, but yeah, I did get some cool peacock cells in this one. Um, and like I said uh, before, uh, opaque paints work best as the cell activator. So the titanium white and the Amsterdam copper are opaque and here's a close-up of the cells that i got um, from this they're just so gorgeous and now i will spin this out and stretch it out so that i don't have too much left on here because as i mentioned before you will get wonky cells they will move um, and you may risk cracking and crazing and next clip will be a close-up And here is a close-up of heart number three, and we will go on to heart number four. Okay, guys, we are on to our last heart, and I just wanted to mention I got these from Michaels. They only had four left, and they were about $4, so I just uh, grabbed all of them. Um, and for this one, again, I'm using a colored pillow. This is PPG uh, Multipro Eggshell White and Pastel Base, and I got it tinted in this light lilac color. The eggshell base, um, you can get it tinted, but in lighter colors. Um, but if you want a darker color, then you will have to change it to uh, a deep base, uh, which is satin. Um, I got this before Christmas, about two months ago before Christmas last year. And I let it sit because it had a ton of bubbles due to the mixing of the color. And I will be doing a swipe on this. And my first layer is Amsterdam greenish blue. Um... And this will be followed by TLP Lakeside, which kind of reminds me of a nice jewel. It's a nice turquoise color. And the key for um, swiping is to keep your paints and pigments and your cell activator thick. Um, after Lakeside, uh, my next layer is Ultramarine Violet. Um, I learned this tip to keeping everything thick from taking an in-person workshop with Winterstrom Art, uh, and she's just amazing with her swiping, uh, so I highly recommend her YouTube channel. I will link it down below. And here we have TLP Parakeet, which is my absolute favorite uh, TLP pigment. Um, it just goes good with anything. And my last layer is Pebeo Iridescent uh, Red Blue, and I will be using a black cell activator. Um, I know I normally say uh, to see if your paints and pigments leave a two to three second trace. In this case, uh, I would check for a four second trace. And my cell activator, I do a two to one ratio, meaning I use two parts Australian Floetrol to one part paint. Don't worry, that seems really thick and your cells will pop. Just give them a minute or two and you can always um, use your straw to gently blow. Just make sure you don't go all the way down below in the pillow. If you would like to learn more about the Shelly Art Bloom technique, I highly recommend her e-course and you can save 15% um, by using my coupon code and I will have all of this listed down below. 
um, as well as uh, the recipe uh, for my pouring medium, which I use Valspar High Gloss uh, Base C Untinted. Um, I, I use three parts of that to one part Varathene Triple Thick Clear Gloss water-based varnish uh, so I'll, all of that will be listed down below and uh, here I am just swiping and the next clip I will show you a close-up I did spin this um, around uh, but for some reason I couldn't find that clip so uh, the close-up is next but here I am blowing out my cell activator again I wanted to thank everybody for liking subscribing and sharing to my YouTube channel or any of my social media platforms I highly appreciate it and if you haven't done so um, go ahead and like subscribe and share to my channel uh, but here's a close-up and uh, there we have it for heart number four well, here are the results of all four hearts, the wet results. I will have the resin results um, posted in a post, so stay tuned for that. And thanks for joining me today. Be safe and stay awfully awesome, guys. Until next time.